There's a war on NFTs. There is a war on us. And over the last few months, we have noticed that millions of dollars in NFTs continue to be stolen. And if you are serious about being in the NFT space, this is going to be an extremely important video. And something else we've noticed over the last few months is that many of these NFTs that are stolen are big brand NFTs, such as CryptoPunks and Bored Ape Yacht Club. And we're all surprised because how could someone sitting on these million dollar portfolios have their crypto stolen? How could they be so lenient with their security? And something that I recently realized is that we are all new into the crypto space, even people sitting on multi-million dollar portfolios. If we look at Board Ape Yacht Club, they were only released in April of 2021. They are not even a year old. There are people in this space sitting on multi-million dollar NFT portfolios, yet they're still new to the space. Again, we are all new to the space. So whether you are someone right now holding an NFT portfolio worth hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, or you are someone in the future who may have a portfolio worth this much, this is going to be a very important video. And the sad thing about this space is that I've said it in the past and I'll say it again, these scams will not stop. They will actually only improve and get better over time. And a lot of people will lose their money because even after we figure out what is being used by these hackers, what's working. Once we figure it out, there's something else that comes along, something new. And on this channel, I make it a priority to keep you guys updated on the newest security threats. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification in order to stay updated. So when it comes to NFT and crypto scams, one of the more recent scams, a very clever scam is done through screen sharing. And right before we get into that, I wanna quickly go over the scam that is the most prevalent and that is giving over your 12 word seed phrase through a phishing link. And I already know many of you understand this, but I started to realize that this cannot be said enough. If someone created a channel and every day they made the same video addressing phishing links and scams, it still would not be enough. Really, it would not be enough because I'm noticing that still so many people are losing their crypto through phishing scams. So instead of going super deep into this, I'm gonna keep it very simple. If you did not initiate, do not enter your seed phrase. The only time you will ever enter your seed phrase is when you initiate it. You are the one specifically that wants to restore a wallet, whether it's a ledger or a hardware wallet, which is the safer method, or even a non-exchange wallet, whether it's MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Euroi, Phantom, or any non-exchange wallet, you are the one specifically going to the website or to the app to restore your wallet. And make sure, of course, that you're going to the correct website link or the correct app and you are not going to a phishing link. And some of you watching understand this, right? You know, only when you initiate. But it seems like it's still not working because over the last few months, I've received messages from people telling me that they had their wallets wiped. And I said, be careful entering your seed phrase. And they say things such as, no, I didn't enter it, right? I was already on my MetaMask wallet, I was online. I quickly got logged out, so I just had to enter my 12 word seed phrase to get back in. This is a phishing scam. Even if you actually were logged into a computer with your wallet and were logged out, logging back in, it will not ask you for your seed phrase. It will only ask you for your password. And this is not specific to MetaMask, it's for any non-exchange wallet. Many people will say that MetaMask is a scam. The only reason why there are so many hacks on MetaMask is because this is where the most users are. MetaMask is one of the most versatile DeFi wallets. If more people use Trust Wallet than they did MetaMask, there would likely be more scams on Trust Wallet. Hackers will go wherever the users are and wherever the money is. And something that helps with this, of course, is a hardware wallet, such as a Ledger or a Trezor, but it is not foolproof. You can still be hacked even with a Ledger or a Trezor because many people may not know that the whole point of a hardware wallet is that the seed phrase never touches the computer, right? Maybe even some of you watching that own a hardware wallet may not know this. The whole point is the seed phrase never touches the computer. So let's say you have a Trezor or a Ledger connected to MetaMask, logged in, and all of a sudden, you get a pop-up asking for your seed phrase. And you may not know that the whole point of the hardware wallet is the seed phrase never touches the computer. So you get this pop-up, you wrote your seed phrase down somewhere on paper. You go ahead, get it, and you enter it onto the computer, and now the hacker has your crypto. But still, using a hardware wallet definitely is safer. Again, it's not foolproof. And if you want to know how to connect a ledger or a Trezor to MetaMask, I will leave links for those videos 
down below in the description. So this is the first one, the most common one. Please be careful. Now this more recent scam, which is very clever, is done through screen sharing. And over the last few months, millions of dollars of NFTs have been stolen through screen sharing, most notably with NFTs such as Bored Ape Yacht Club. And here's an article describing how users lost millions of dollars worth of their Bored Apes through screen sharing. And this user who had their NFT stolen had it stolen through screen sharing with someone pretending to be OpenSea support. So to begin, I'm gonna keep this simple. If it has to do with crypto, anything related to crypto, do not share your screen. Even worse, do not give remote access. This is really asking for a disaster. So in this case, this user was screen sharing with a fake OpenSea support person. And in the end, the NFTs were stolen. You might be thinking, what if they used a hardware wallet? Well, in this case, this user was using a Ledger hardware wallet. So the con men then had to dupe him into signing off each transaction to transfer the NFTs out of his wallet. Hardware wallets help a lot, but these scams are done through social engineering. So be careful, even if you're using a hardware wallet, again, keeping this simple, do not share your screen and do not give remote access. And you might think to yourself, this is obvious, right? Well, in technical support or in the past, this is actually not really rare. It's actually pretty common. If you're having an issue with something, you can share your screen. But if something is very difficult or very technical, it's actually not that rare to give remote access to someone, of course, from a reputable company if you're using the correct line. But now in this age of crypto, we need to be a lot more careful, right? I was speaking with a security expert in the past who I gave remote access to my computer for something non-crypto related because it was very technical. It was nothing that I could do really on my own through a screen share. So I actually gave them remote access. And I was asking them about the security of this feature. I was saying, what if you were screen sharing or what if you were giving remote access and then you noticed that you were part of a scam? Could you just shut off your computer and end it? And they told me, actually, this is not always the case. When you give access to your computer, whether it's through a screen share or a remote access, it might be one-time use or it might be permanent use. And also it will depend on what type of access you are giving to that user on the other side. So I was saying, what if I just shut down my computer, right? Wouldn't that fix it? And they said, no, that's not always the case. So when it comes to crypto or anything crypto related, do not share your screen, do not give remote access. And even when it comes to something that is non-crypto related, be very cautious. So if it's crypto related, just do not share, do not give remote access. If it is non-crypto related with something maybe that you actually need technical support with, be very cautious. But what scares me the most is that right now we might be aware of these people pretending to be support for a crypto wallet or a crypto exchange. And maybe this is easy to spot. We'll just say, hey, I'm not gonna share my screen. I'm not gonna give remote access. But what scares me the most is that I do believe in the future we will see people pretending to be, let's say, working for a non-crypto company asking you to share your screen or asking for remote access. So be very careful on the lookout with who you share your screen with or who you give remote access to. I have a full security playlist down below in the description. Go ahead, check out one or two videos. It may save you hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars in the future. Be safe out there, like the video. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.